Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a favicon for your uh, website and to put it in uh, Joomla website. So first of all, here is my test website and as you can see the favicon shows up in the browser tab here as a little icon. It's a 16 by 16 pixel icon that is um, very small and it, and it also shows up in the address bar in your browser window. You can see it here in the out, uh, address bar right there. So it's a tiny little 16 by 16 icon and it's a graphic that you have to essentially make. Um, to have it show up in Joomla where you need to place it is I've got a local uh, WAMP server here so I'm going to go to my web directory, my www directory and where you need to place this file is very important. You place it into your um, website. Here's my test website called test2. This is my Joomla folder with all my Joomla files and you're going to put this file into your templates folder and you're going to look for your template and then you go into your template and then that's where you place your favicon and you have to name it favicon.ico okay and it's a 16 by 16 pixel image file. So here's how you would make it using the GIMP. So using the GIMP if I'm going to make this file I have to first of all I'm going to crop my image okay so I decide I'm going to crop this image alright hit enter I use the crop tool right there and I want to get rid of uh, some of the um, lettering I just want this line and this A I just want it to be an A on the favicon right A for Apollo so I will uh, get the brush here and actually first I'll get the eyedropper and eyedropper this purple and get the brush and I'll brush out this T and this E okay and then I'll get the eyedropper and get this baby blue and then the brush and I'll brush out this P here okay all right and okay that looks pretty good now I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this a little bit better so I'll get the zoom tool here there it is and zoom in okay so I've zoomed in 300 percent now now your favicon is going to be a square file 16 by 16 pixels so first thing I'm gonna do is make this square image so I'll go to image scale image and I will uncheck the um, lock symbol here that constrains proportions and I will change this to um, I'm gonna move this one down so that they're both 91 pixels so 91 by 91 right and hit scale and now it's a square image now what I want to do is I need to test this to see how is it gonna look when I scale it down to 16 by 16 okay so if to do that you could say image scale image and scale it down to 16 by 16 right and you'll see that if I go to 100 percent view it at 100 percent that there it is it's done it's my favicon but I can't see the line very well or the purple so a, a lot of it is kind of um, you know disappeared a little bit so what I need to do is I need to exaggerate the graphic details in the original image before I scale it down. So I'm going to do edit undo and I'm going to exaggerate these um, I'm going to exaggerate the image before I scale it down. Well what does that amount to? Well what that amounts to is getting your eyedropper getting this purple and I'm going to um, get this path tool and I'm going to make a path here and then I'll just move this down right the anchor point down and I'm just gonna stroke this path so um, and to do that all I need to do is go down here and say stroke path and then put in the parameter of five pixels let's say and click stroke and there's a five pixel stroke right and then from there I can just move this and just stroke the image to enhance the line so and click stroke path five pixels stroke and I'll just move around the image 
and this will enhance the line here which will make it more visible when we shrink it down. So there's another one. And I'll just move that over here now. And you see that this tool is very useful. Um, okay, and do that again. All right. And I'll put this last one over here and this one here. And click stroke one more time here. So you can kind of see exactly how I'm approaching this. I'm just moving these anchor points around and stroking this path in the hopes to make this a lot more visible before we shrink it down. Okay, that's looking good. And then one other thing, I want this to show up as an A. So I will put this here and this here. Okay, and click that one more time. And that's looking pretty good. Now I can go back and get my pencil tool. And if I have any areas that need a little bit of filling in, I can just fill them in with the pencil tool. I might want to add a little bit more oomph to that. Okay, that looks pretty good. If I want a little more purple here, I can get my eyedropper, get some purple, and fill in a little more purple here. Because that will show up when we shrink it down. So now, it doesn't look good right now, but remember, uh, we're zoomed in here at 200%, but we're going to shrink it down. So now, image, scale image, change this to 16, change this to 16, and click scale. And there's your favicon. I'll change the scale to 100%. And there it is. It's tiny, but it's going to look good in the um, browser window. So now all you have to do is save it. So file, save as. And the GIMP actually has a file type for an ICO file. If you scroll down here, you'll see that it actually has a Microsoft Windows icon.ico. You can click on that. And fa it needs to be named favicon dot ICO and it actually has the ICO file type there and then just choose where you want to save it you can browse for a folder for where you want to save it right if you want to browse you browse for a folder and click save and I already have one in there so I'll replace it okay and I'm gonna take the default compression and hit save and it's all done all I have to do now is move my favicon dot ICO file into my web server and the browser will pick it up. Uh, for a Joomla site that's going to go into your uh, template folder for your specific template that you're working with.